What's up? My name is Eavesdrop. Uh, I'm an MC from Cape Town, um, born and bred in Parkwood. Um, I've been rhyming for nearly two decades now, so about 18 years. Um, I've released some music informally and formally. I released my first EP in June 2018. Um, it was titled Scrolls of the Unseen and I have currently just completed recording uh, my second EP uh, which is called From My Third Eye um, so that's going to be coming out soon. Um, I've worked with a lot of uh, artists in Cape Town so I feature on two of the tracks on the EP um, State Capture and Persevere. Um, so basically the the concept of my verse for state capture is um, I take the words state capture and think about what that means for, for people who live in my community. Um, a lot of young men are incarcerated um, for the social issues that they face. Um, a lot of them end up in jail in the prison system. Um, so I talk a little bit in, in the verse that I have there about my feelings about that, you know, I feel like we as a people are being captured um, and put into prison just for being who we are, for being poor um, or for living in, in the ghettos, in the Cape Flats, you know. Um, so I, I, I talk a little bit about that, about the prison system, both in and outside of, of, of the penitentiary system. On Persevere, um, I, the, the backtrack of Persevere is very emotive, um, so it made me think about um, the struggle. It made me think about our people again. I'm very passionate about um, the struggle of our people. Um, and it also made me think about um, more personal struggles, so struggles that my mom has to, has to face. You know, being a single mother, um, the struggle of, of trying to make ends meet, um, you know, and having to constantly push and constantly fight against and having to constantly make sure that you come out winning, you know, whatever winning might, might feel like or look like. Um, so Persevere for me was just really, the verse there was really just to unpack um, what it means to keep pushing and to keep fighting um, because there's a lot to still fight for. So yeah, basically um, that's me kind of in a nutshell. Um, and I guess the fight continues. So yeah, we, we keep saying never again. Um, but it feels like it keeps happening over and over. So it's interesting for me that the book Never Again has the EP component to it because when you talk about hip hop, when you talk about or when you, when you hear people's stories um, about hip hop and about some of the issues that they face, um, you know, the, the revolutionary aspect of hip hop, um, it, when you have an audio component, it really gives a well-rounded experience because sound can, can bring about emotion um, and can paint a picture for you about what's written uh, in word. So sound takes it that much further and really does expand on what's tackled in the book um, by the various contributors. And so that process is really interesting um, because it's organic but also very new because you're literally taking one sort of format and transcribing it into a totally different format but yet the two still meet each other somewhere so it's interesting to unpack some of the concepts that are tackled in the book through music because it allows you to approach it on a totally different level but at the end of the day it all still comes back together um, and I think it also just opens up avenues both for the artists and for the, the consumer, I guess, or whomever's going to be, um, you know, e experiencing the book um, and the music. It just, it, it allows for us as the artists as well to have a lot more control over the creative process and over the voices that we want and the stories that we want to be out there about what it is that we're saying. Um, and also I think it has a, a further reach because um, you're allowing to open it up to everyone. Um, it allows for us to be able to go out and perform. So literally, the music is a performance of the book, which is very unique. Um, it's not an audio book, which has been done. Um, it's an extra component. It's like, um, you know, it's like the hidden, hidden material on an album. If you keep listening after the silence, something pops up out of nowhere, but it's completely related. 
Um, and so I think, you know, you, 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 you opening up the avenue to be able to tell people who can't access the book or who can't read or who can't gain the understanding from looking at the words, um, you're taking the music to them and bringing across the message. So you're really just diversifying the avenues through which the message can, the message can be delivered, which is really, really powerful.